Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make a quick video and do a reaction, a bit of a video, a taste testing. Now, um, as you've seen and possibly in some of my earlier videos, my wife and I, we went to Jamaica, we visited some bond sites. I hope you check out um, a couple of videos that I have of um, some movie sites that I went to for Dr. No, as well as Live and Let Die um, in Jamaica. So some really fun stuff in those videos. I really hope you go and check it out. Um, it, uh, it would be a pity to have gone all the way there and captured some of that footage. And um, not too many people would get to see it. I, um, because there, there was a, on one of them for my Live and Let, Let Die uh, um, a filming location video. Just to let you know, there's an update to some information there that I haven't even found online. Um, there's old information online about the Roger Moore suite and what the suite number is and that they changed suite numbers. They redid the rooms. They've re they redid the numbering. And I've got an update on that. The most current information on the Roger Moore suite um, at the resort where they filmed some some of the the things for live and let die so um please check it out but while there in jamaica i came back with um, a couple bottles of the blackwell rum and i was so excited to find this because i've seen it on some of the other bond uh channels and um, now I was, I definitely was looking for the 007 special release that they had. That would have been nice, but um, I just, what I was able to find was the, the regular Blackwell. What does this say here? Fine spiced Jamaican rum. Blackwell 1625, Montego Bay, Ocho Rios. That's where I was. Um, Ocho. So here's the here's Jamaica. It's got the map right there. I was right in here around Ocho Rios and uh, Golden Eye. It's right right there in that same area. And yeah, I was hoping to go to Golden Eye while I was there in Ocho Rios, but um, they no longer sold the day passes, which I had read online you could get, but there was nothing that said they stopped that. But they have and um. Black Gold, Special Reserve Product of Jamaica. It's got a little wax seal right there. Oh, should we do some sounds, bottle sounds? Oh, I keep hitting the microphone instead. Let's try, let's try this. Anyhow, um, Chris Blackwell, 40% alcohol volume, net 750 milliliters. Chris Blackwell. So the back of the bottle, should we read it? Chris Blackwell, the inspiration behind Blackwell Fine Jamaican Rum hails from one of Jamaica's oldest merchant families. Settling in Jamaica in 1625, they were renowned for exporting bananas, coconuts, and rum. Chris continues in the family tradition with the introduction of Blackwell Fine Jamaican Rum, taken from time-honored and secret recipes. Blackwell's deep, rich, fragrant uh, black gold liquid is aged, making it one of the finest gifts Jamaica and Chris have to offer. By the way... Chris founded the famed Island Records label in 1959, which brought reggae music to the world. Crafting Blackwell's fine Jamaican rum with the same passion he has for reggae, Chris has imbued this black gold liquid with the very warmth and sensuality for which Jamaica and its music are so well appreciated. So yeah, this is made in, it's distilled, aged and blended, um, in Kingston, Jamaica. So, yeah, Blackwell Rum. 
very oh here's the back here's the back there's chris blackwell that little picture of him there and yep give you a good close-up jamaica ocho rios and golden eye let you see the little the wax label on the on the paper and so let's take a look let's take a look so i poured some in a glass look at the color i'm not sure if that look at the color of that it's very it's a reddish brown it's very, like a dark reddish brown color now that's that's really nice it's a, for a spiced rum let me smell it hmm hmm it's got is you can smell spice you can smell vanilla it smells spicy it smells kind of sweet but the color that is a nice dark rum very impressive i think now i i'm a bourbon drinker myself um i like maker's mark i in, really enjoy woodford that's one of my my favorite uh, bourbons i love the flavor um i like the what is it four roses i like the the flavor of that one as well and it does actually have a floral aftertaste to it um and i drink neat i always drink neat i used to go on the rocks because I, I was just like yeah you know it's nice having it cool I tried neat and I've never gone back to on the rocks um, because I don't like the ice melting in there. I know you can, you can say, well, nice big block in there and um, I'll drink it before it melts. Well, I really work on when I, when I pour a drink like this right here, this would last me all night long. I mean, I could, it could take me three, four hours just to work on. That's not even a finger full of rum there. So, um, yeah, I, I, I sip, I sip and I'll sip all night on just this little bit, really enjoying the flavors. Speaking of which, let's do that. Shall we let's have a sip. Hmm. It's warm. It goes down warm doesn't burn it's just warm hmm. it's sweet it tastes sweet no I've had I've, I've I like to try certain alcohols on their own just to see what they taste like on their own rum is usually a mixing drink right you usually use it you mix it pina coladas things like that um and I, I, I have cheap rum that I've purchased for that, for, for the mixing. I'm not sure I would use this for mixing. This almost tastes like a mixed drink already. Um, like when you take bourbon and uh, make, a, uh, make an old fashioned or something uh, where it's, or a rusty nail. Um, you have bourbon, you have some drambui in there, you know, it gives even now more of a little of a, a sweet flavor. Um, Blackwell rum has a little bit of a taste as if it, it is a mixed drink in itself because of the spice and the vanilla and kind of a coconutty, a little bit of a coconutty flavor. Let's try again. Hmm. That is really good. I really enjoy the flavor of that. It's strong. It has strong flavor um, without burning your face off, like burning your throat, uh, where it's, you're just kind of like, ooh, ooh, that just burns. It's just, it's just, it just burns to burn you. Mm, no, this has flavor and it's warm. It just goes down warm. That is really nice. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, that is my um, um, that is my first time trying Blackwell rum, and I like it. I like it. Now, from what I've seen on some other videos, the 007 collection Blackwell rum is supposed to be even more of a like a sipping drink, more almost like it is a bourbon. If it's more so than this, I can only imagine how good that must be. Oh, well, someday, someday, someday I may find some. Um, someday I may get to try some if I ever run into anybody that maybe even has it <laughs> and they offer me a drink. I say, oh, can I take just a little bit of that? And I'll take it neat. No ice, please. All right. Well, um, I recommend it. I definitely recommend it. Look at that color. It's just beautiful. And um, if you haven't tried it yet, definitely give it a try. All right. Well, that's that for um, uh, this tasting, this uh, review of Blackwell Rum. And um, I guess we will see you in the next video. And I really appreciate uh, you, you stopping by and spending this time with me. And I guess we will we'll see you in the next one. All right, uh, please like, subscribe, throw in some comments. Tell me what you think of Blackwell Rum, if, uh, if you've had it before, and um, uh, what your viewpoints on it are. I'm not professing to be a um, connoisseur uh, of any kind, honestly, because I'm, I'm sure there's um, – I've seen other videos of bourbon drinkers, and they – they're like, oh, yeah, I, you know, Woodford, that's a good basic, but there's so many that are better. Um, I haven't gotten there yet. I, I, I kind of, I've always liked what I like. And, um, um, and, and if something gets introduced and I like it, great. But till then, uh, a lot of times I'm pretty happy with what I, with what I like. And the simple things is what I like. I like this. It's going to be part of my collection. Okay. Again, thanks. Um, and I look forward to hearing some comments. I hope. Take care. All right. Bye.